good people. This is Karen with Ali Yoga Wellness again. Thank you for joining us. And today in the Lord's Temple Fitness class, we have Dr. Deontay Hallowell. Now, he is a professor of African American Studies at Spalding University. And I'll let him tell you more about that because he does so much more out in the community for us. Well, thank you for having me, first of all. Uh, uh -huh. As you said, my name is Dr. Deontay Hollowell, and I teach African American Studies at Spalding University and also history. Um, also, I, uh, my main point of research is uh, the relationship between African American communities and police. So I've been quite busy lately with uh, for the last at least two or three years, uh -huh. but um, I've been doing my research since 2008. I usually consider that the pre-cell phone coverage era. Okay, so, okay. Uh, when I wrote my dissertation, there was hardly any footage of um, black individuals being killed by police. Right. So we had to take our community's word for it when we screamed racial oppression. Mm. Now we have it on tape and we still have to uh, mm. go more proof. So. Thank you for having me. I'm looking forward yes, to doing absolutely. some yoga. I don't know what to expect. I've done yoga before, but <laughs> right. it's a little different. So. Right, right. Well, I tell you what, I appreciate you uh, uh, inviting me to the workshop oh, yeah. that you put on as we were working with some individuals. Can you speak a little bit about the workshop? Sure. So uh, in my line of work, I do a lot of work with different uh, community organized groups. And so when I uh, met you, I was doing the workshop for uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, I think it was via the Community uh, Bail Fund, and uh, individuals that had been uh, bailed out by them, uh, they come and do a Sankofa series with me, which is where uh, we talk about the history of police repression and oppression against uh, black communities in uh, a bunch of different ways. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this since like 2008 on the research level. And so... You were preparing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's I, like you never... But God is... Yeah, and exactly. So, and, and so it just gives uh, those individuals an opportunity to learn about some of the uh, historical elements of uh, not only uh, policing, but also the prison system in and of itself. And a lot of those folks are also uh, folks from the movement mm -hmm. that have been locked up for right. uh, protesting or something of that right. sort. So right. it was just a chance for them to take classes with me and they can even get credit. Mm -hmm. And um, Black Lives Matters is uh, working with them to um, offer some type of like internship for oh, really? individuals who complete the classes. So, oh, man. We've been doing this since, I think, September or so. Mm -hmm. I tell you week. what, it, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, it was, uh, there were only men participants when I was there that day and, and you brought is it more? To the table. I know and I was and I was so therefore the only female I didn't know if it was only for men or not but oh, I no. fell right into I became a student right along with you and you really yeah. taught some actually the program is mostly virtual um, oh okay and so usually the lectures are virtual mm -hmm. but on that particular day um, sister Chanel wanted me to come in I forget why and then uh, we did it in person. Okay, so. okay. Well, that was great. And uh, like I said, I fell in as a student doing my notes and giving my you information. You were the only one taking notes, though. <laughs> <laughs> let, let that be clear. Right there. Other students were like, we're listening. But yeah, they didn't write yeah. I love even how um, the different characteristics of, because remember, one, guy from out of town he right. wouldn't speak very much but his partner was like speak on it speak right. on it he was like no nah, man i'm just listening today and then the other one the third a third guy he was he was talking yes he was very <laughs> yes and then the guy sitting next to me so it was i love hearing those different aspects because as my life only takes me around uh, certain people and mm -hmm. maybe they have the same viewpoints or what have you but these guys were having different experiences and uh, reporting right. on them, sharing and letting me know how, how it happened. And that was, that was really cool. So I really appreciate that in the work that you do. 
and um, also appreciate you being here, okay. representing uh, men and their health care. I'm here to represent men and health care? Represent, <laughs> oh, represent <man>. yes. <laughs> I don't remember signing up for that, but we're going to give it a shot. Yes, yes, <laughs> since you're here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, we know there are statistics out there that show that African American men, and rightly so, is a lot of worms are coming out of the woodwork as to why um, uh, they don't seek medical treatment. And it is very important to do that because times are changing, and the only way for them to change and to have the data that's needed is for us to show up where we haven't. Absolutely. We need to take up space. Okay, and um, today, because of stress that's involved with being on the front lines, he said I'm not on the front lines, but on uh, in the capacity that you hold, all right, because one thing you're doing is changing minds, the mindset in the classroom, uh, just by opening them, okay, because um, I've been, you know, not your class, but, oh, goodness gracious, um, but anyway, um, uh, opening the mind, changing the mindsets, that can be really stressful as you're trying to get your point across. And then when it hits home, uh, it's like a home run. So stress exists out there just in our normal life. But you said something really interesting. Because okay. I asked you about stress and how it affects you. Are, are you stressed? Are you got this cool demeanor about you? So... Well, it, it affects everyone. I know you know, I don't have to tell you that, but um, as far as the movement goes and the work that I do there, um, I would consider myself a researcher, teacher, observer, um, and then you have other people in the movement that are activists, protesters, um, advocates, uh, organizers, and so many other folks that uh, are often considered the Jacobs, the people of the communities mm. that uh, work on behalf of mm. uh, of each other mm -hmm. and that work is not okay. it's not pretty it's not cute it's not fun mm -hmm. sometimes it can't be fun mm -hmm. but it's it can be stressful and if you don't watch out if you don't if you aren't prepared mm -hmm. um, as you say mm -hmm. medically physically speaking then it can take a toll on you um, right. from my perspective being um, a researcher mm -hmm. and um, being a teacher one may look at that as more of an indoor role one that does a lot of paper shuffling teaching that but the way I look at it the way I approach it is different mm -hmm. I work a lot with um, grassroots organizations yeah. whether it's uh, doing uh, political education courses for them or like the Sankofa series mm -hmm. or whether it's uh, working with organizers uh, sometimes doing trainings workshops with organizers mm -hmm. and such and that work can be stressful uh, people in that uh, line of work and they'll be the first ones to tell you um, they're not always uh, in the best of moods mm -hmm. because again the work is stressful mm -hmm. and so you have to have a really a tough chin in order to be able to do it a lot of times and in order to be able to work and tell me what you do fashion. about it oh well you, you can attack it in a couple of different ways I like to get in front of it mm -hmm. um, as I said off camera and so I try to stay prayed up mm -hmm. um, I try to stay um, in somewhat decent shape mm -hmm. And I try to involve myself in a lot of self-love, mm -hmm. doing things that I like to do um, that make me happy and that um, keep me content. Right. So that when I do go out there and stressful things appear, mm -hmm. that I don't let it take advantage of me too much. Ooh, I like that. Yes, That's, that's yes, the plan, but yeah. it doesn't always work. So. That, but that's all right, it's because we are always, our body being the temple, it's always working for the healing, right. and when we connect our mind to it, like what you are explaining on that self-care, then our body starts to feel it, and you can even see the stress coming, like right. you said, and what I was reaching for, you mm -hmm. said you dodge it. <laughs> dodge it. But then in, in other situations, there's so many others, and just keeping it within the movement, mm -hmm. that, that cannot, so, you know, people that are, are protesting or engaging in activism, mm -hmm. especially in those moments, those moments are heavy. And mm -hmm. a lot of people that are not in their world sometimes kind of don't see the value or the pressure that um, that you have to be a, a, be under right. in order to 
really be involved in this movement for real, for real. You know, a lot of people engage in it on social media or they engage in it part time. But I'm shouting out to the full time workers that go real hard and, and it's real stressful and oftentimes they don't know how to deal with it. And I salute all the grassroots organizations nowadays because a lot of them are starting to pay attention to uh, mental health and. It's a blessing because... All right, doctor, now, they, they, they say it. That. It wasn't right. that it was taboo in the black community right. to uh, address right. mental health. And so I, I do um, give a lot of respect to the, the organizations mm-hmm. that address it. Mm-hmm. The ones that I work with, they do. Mm-hmm. Okay, excellent. I tell you what, it's so many uh, areas that we see because of the movement that have not, we are not shored up as just an individual person. And to see those fail, it is very important that we attach. It's very important that you are there. And I'm telling you, yes, yes, all that uh, hard work. And I know it's not easy. Um, And I was... I stay blessed whenever I'm able to use my purpose. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I know I'm not the frontline person, but for maybe a protest or two. Okay. <laughs> but I will, you know, I have gotten out there and uh, and welcome. Right. And, and the, the support is needed. Yes. Because, yeah. I mean, it, and it brings that back to if that support wasn't there, then, of course, the people who are on the front lines would mm-hmm. even be more stressed. Mm. So, uh, mm. They need that, and uh, mm. also shout out to the, to the uh, churches and the individuals that just would bring water to the mm-hmm. protests. I did that a couple times. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, the simplest thing. My sometimes. Avon lady, she mm-hmm. gave me a uh, uh, packets of skin so soft or mm-hmm. bug off or something like that. Yeah, right. just to keep keep us keep those keep us keep those keep us out up. there. And mm-hmm. yes, exactly. So. Whew. This has been more than I thought it would Uh-oh. be. I would tell you that, okay? <laughs> you going to make me do some yoga in a minute. I'm like, well, if yeah. I keep talking, then maybe I won't. <laughs> right, right. Uh, uh, no, because we can do a part two, okay? okay and then okay. you have 30 minutes of yoga to do. <laughs> but we will go ahead and, um, and, and get to the yoga portion okay. of today's program. Right. And um, most of you know whether um, that... You know, COVID exists, right? It's out. <laughs> yes, it's and <laughs> and it uh, enters our body through our respiratory system. And whether COVID existed or not, we always needed to clean our nasal passages. Okay. Our uh, nostrils are a filter for our body that keeps out, or it's on our nose is on the front line <laughs> uh, for allergies and all those things. Okay, that. Um, we don't want our body to ingest, and of course, some get through. But um, then our body also creates secretions that you know what that's called, and we can blow our nose and get rid of it. So we'll spare you, but I always want to at least act like we're blowing our nose. You truly blow your nose. We've already done it. And uh, so blow your nose, okay, and get rid of your paper, and then you'll have just breathe in. Ah, it's clearer already, okay? And now we'll do a three-breath practice. Some of this is what we did already, okay, okay. at the workshop. I don't remember it, okay. but I, <laughs> I tell you what. I didn't take I, notes. <laughs> I was on my way to work, and we had kept getting so far into the class. That was almost not my class, but the workshop. I was oh. almost leaving without doing the yoga and they would not let me out of there they were like let's circle up you know? <laughs> let's circle up i was like okay let's do this so maybe i didn't do this but to shut the outside world out there to shut the stress out of us um and help us focus in on our center and the spirit within us um we do three breath practice Putting one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. I do remember this. Okay, okay. And eyes closed or not, you go ahead and breathe in. Big chest and belly and then breathe out. 
Yeah, you can hear the music more and breathe in. And out. Feel the relaxation begin around your shoulders. Your elbows might get closer to your body. And last time together, breathe in. Big breath. And then exhale. Good. And go ahead and put your hands down beside you. And since you mentioned, you didn't say desk jockey or paper pusher, whatever. Oh, yeah. That, that either do? one. That's, <laughs> that's not what I do. But that's all what I don't know most about <laughs> So, um, uh, we, you might notice that there's a lot of stress that might build up, physical stress mm -hmm. around your neck and, and all. So, um, rolling your shoulders is so cliche, but it works. So, what we're going to do is pull our shoulders up to our ears. Yeah, pull them way up and feel the squeeze around your shoulders. And then as you exhale, think of, find your shoulder caps and move them way down. So the muscles between your ears and the tips of your shoulders are getting real long. And then inhale again, shoulders up to your ears. And this, mm, squeeze, contraction of your muscles up there, that's the squeeze, as you relax and lengthen through your exhale and bring your shoulder caps down, the two have worked together to relax you, okay? So now, I said roll your shoulders, so let's do that like a bicycle, alternating shoulder rolls. Now remember that you could do these longer than what we're doing them now. We're just demonstrating and giving a nice little light uh, workout. You could do it at your desk. You could do it in your chair. You could do it in your car. Go ahead. Do the other way. Reverse. Ah, I know. I know. Right? Mm -hmm. And don't worry if you hear snap, crackle, and pop. Your muscles are thanking you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good deal. So now let's go to our fingers. You might feel it warm up around your neck. Interlace your fingers and put your elbows together as you're squeezing your fingers. Squeeze that fist. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We don't want arthritis and stiff muscles in our hands. And healing is in the blood, so let's get that blood flowing as you exhale. Your fingers will feel different from when you were contracting and squeezing them. And now, press your palms forward. You might hear thunder out there. God is watering my plants because they are coming up. Press your fingers forward. Turn your turn your baby finger. Turn them up. Oh, oh like yeah, that. yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Feel, feel those fingers. Okay, now we're bringing our palms back to our chest so that we can go into prayer position. Look how amazing your body is. Bringing your palms together and bringing your wrist down level to your elbows as best as you can. And then press into the heels of your hand. Now, move your mind up to your shoulders, blades, and pull your shoulder blades into your spine. Push into the heels of your hand and you can feel how that strengthens. Because we also know there's healing and prayer. What is it? <laughs> I shouldn't even be laughing right there, but I can't believe I just forgot that. Prayer prayer changes things. That's what I, that's what it is. And uh, we're always uh, and we can uh, find strength in our shoulders as uh, prayer is changing things. Okay? And just go ahead and relax yourself down. Free your fingers up. Okay, and then for you typist anybody flick your fingers like you're flicking water off can you hear the music okay yeah you got that rhythm now get it get it get it <laughs> so, <laughs> i know in the sink yeah yeah so when you're cleaning the uh house if you wash dishes by hand like I do, okay. you know, <laughs> then you have your jazz on or whatever. Get with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you're actually joining the vibe of music with your movement, okay? And then as you, your forearms, they might get a little tired, but then as you release, can you feel the tingling? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I didn't know we'd be playing this jazz today. So, uh, now, you know, if you've been here before, we have our chairs behind us, so we're going to make our way to our chairs, okay? And make sure you get your chair and you follow along with us. You know, this is a barefoot situation, so find your chair and your spot, and let the lesson continue. I was going to say begin. You could tell, right? So... <laughs> What we'll do is go to near the edge of our chair so that you feel your sits bones, the bottom of your skeleton, at the uh, frame of the chair, and your feet are nice and flat. We are Ali Yoga Wellness, so we have renamed some poses and movements in honor of Muhammad Ali. And the first one we'll do is the Ali Shuffle. We're just going to pat our feet. <laughs> And he has no idea what we're going to do because what we've done before, <laughs> sometimes you can hold on to the side of your chair because um, our, our preliminary work was a little different than what we normally do. And go ahead and bring your feet nice and um, solid. And again, you feel the tingling that you felt in your fingers, right? Okay. It's because there's healing in the blood and the blood is moving. So the next uh, pose that we do, our movement, is the uh, butterfly wings. Our arms are beside us. We connect our breath with our movement. And our arms will go up as we inhale. So let's inhale, connect, breath and body, movement up. And then exhale to bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Going up again on the inhale. This time we're changing our descent. We're going to hug ourselves. So exhale, hands and arms in front of you. And give yourself a hug. One hand high on the shoulder, one hand there at the waist. So, uh, Dr. Hollowell mentioned self-care. Giving yourself a hug is a way to care for yourself, okay? And you're welcome to close your eyes and just understand that you love yourself and you are loved. Okay? Breathe in. You can even imagine and you will feel the hug of the Lord from the inside out. And exhale. Feel it. Feel the sensation of your blood and your nerves. Feel that life force moving through you as you breathe. And exhale. Placing our hands on the side of our chair. We're going to keep breathing since we're breathing anyway, right? We want to make sure we're conscious about it. So now we're going, as we inhale, we're moving our chest forward, closing our shoulder blade. Think of a book. You're closing the front and the back of the book. That's your shoulder blades and the pages are around the front. Open them up. We're going the other way. Exhale, pull your navel in. Collapse your lungs in the front and bring your shoulders around the front and bring your chin down to your chest. Focus on your breath moving your back muscles by using the backs of your lungs. So go ahead and breathe there for a little bit. And every time you're doing this, the force of your breath is helping your body move and relieve stress. Go ahead, inhale, come seated. Just 
come back to neutral. Inhale your left arm up. Bring it outside your right knee. Bring your feet together to touch. But we're bringing our elbow down to the knee. Bring both hands together and you're in prayer position. Pull your navel in. Now you're able to turn. Move that top shoulder back and that bottom shoulder will move towards your fingers. Line your chin up with your fingers. Now take your chin, look over your shoulder. Keep looking the other way. Mm -hmm. Now look down to your toes and unwind. Keep your hands where they are. Keep your hands in prayer position. But switch, and even if you have to drop the knees over, get that elbow over the knees, the other knee, and then straighten. Push your elbow and knee together so that you can twist on that spine. Move that shoulder back. Look over your chin. Look over your shoulder. <laughs> Look down. And come up to sitting. Good. Feel that? All right. All right. So that was some just some upper body that we were doing. And now I want to uh, take you back to do some full body breathing. I want you to be in contact with that so that you feel the Lord moving through you. <laughs> okay? And uh, think about your toes, the tingling. You can even go ahead and give yourself the little Muhammad Ali shuffle. Okay? Bring those sensations back up to your consciousness. We're so comfortable knowing that God is just doing it, <laughs> okay, that uh, we don't even have to connect our consciousness to it. But there we are, and try to think of which way to do it. Three breath practice, and as you breathe in, think of your toes, and then feel the breath in your nose. It's traveling up to your forehead and out the crown of your head, up to God's ears. And then as you exhale, God has granted your prayer. And you exhale and it reverses moving through your body, throughout your body to your toes. Okay? So follow your breath, follow the sensations of your life force. As you breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. So I invite you to do any of these practices any time of the day, anytime you think of them. Your consistency will help those body parts to feel better. And I want you to tune back in with us also as we have other so important and interesting guests to uh, help us to understand the need for our physical fitness and wellness in our Lord's Temple. So we'll bring our hands together in prayer position. And as you know, the divine in me recognizes and respects the divine in you and your place in the universe. Namaste and amen.